Dr. Lou Jacobs at Jacobs Chiropractic Acupuncture Center in Portland, Maine, and I am Maine's rock doc. I've been working with musicians for over 20 years, and one of the more common problems that drummers have that I've seen is one of the most common problems that drummers have, which is bicipital tendonitis. That is tendonitis where the tendon that attaches the biceps muscle to the shoulder becomes inflamed and painful. And it occurs in drummers especially, but in other people who do repetitive stu stuff through repetitive stress. So having your arms up or out, right? And then repeatedly activating that biceps muscle. It causes movement and that movement causes repetitive friction and the friction causes inflammation, pain and breakdown of the tissue in the front of the shoulder. What does it feel like when you have bicipital tendonitis? Well, it hurts to use your bicep, hurts to lift your arm up like this, hurts to go like this sometimes, hurts to go like this sometimes. You're engaging this and it's painful. It'll also hurt if you push on it and you'll feel like a little guitar string in there and you'll strum it and it will really hurt a lot. That is a pretty good sign that you've got bicipital tendonitis. So what do you do? at home to try to help this. Well, you can certainly put ice and heat on it. You can certainly warm up before you play, heat it before you play to improve blood flow. And then after you play, just like an athlete, you ice it down, try to reduce inflammation in that area. But that may not take care of the problem once the problem has already started. So, like with many things, many injuries that musicians encounter, it's a matter of creating resilience, reducing risk, and doing this by creating strength in and around the area that is most likely to be injured. So in this case, you really want to have strong posterior deltoid muscles and a strong upper back. Of course, you want to have good posture, but that's not going to affect the way that you're drumming, right? It will affect the way that you're drumming. It's not going to affect the movement in the bicipital tendon. You still have to do that to drum. Exercises where you squeeze your shoulder blades together like this are very helpful for opening up this area that is compact and again, really prone to friction, okay? Shoulder shrugs where you roll your shoulders back can be very, very helpful. V's with your arms like this can be very, very helpful for opening that area up. Massage, getting in there and just gently rubbing things out in a way that will promote blood flow to the shoulder is gonna be really, really helpful. Light percussive massage can also be really, really helpful. But if you overdo it, you may cause more inflammation than you want from other sources, and that will not be helpful. You have to know when to call it quits. When you call it quits, usually when it starts to be uncomfortable to do something. If it ever feels bruised in there, you'd want to stop. It's always important to consult a doctor, consult a physician or a chiropractor or, or even a physical therapist to know exactly what's going on. But if you're having pain right in here and you're a drummer and you push on it and it hurts, it's probably bicipital tendonitis. Never hurts to have it looked at just to make sure. But these exercises are really, really helpful. And if they don't work, at home in a reasonable period of time, a week or two, then you go in and you get some extra help. This is Dr. Lou Jacobs, Rock Doc, Portland, Maine. Questions, post them below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Rock and roll.